Good morning, everyone. We are going to round. TGIT people, who's working tomorrow? All right, so everybody, you, you working tomorrow, Sonia? No. You working tomorrow? Okay, TGIT for everyone except for Lisa. We love you. <laughs> Say that again? What can't you find? Just a left kidney. Is Suzanne, that important? Suzanne, did you tell her to bring both kidneys in? Oh, I think she was forgot to bring one. <laughs> did you forget your left kidney? You should have brought it. You should have brought the kidney. with you. Bye guys. Bye. Say bye. Are you going to smile for my video ever? Have a great day. So Abby, who got a strong new chemotherapy protocol, came in early. Fortunately, she has a fever um, and no white blood cells, and so we'll admit her. Who, are you taking her, E? Bex. Bex? Yeah. Okay. So were you in the room when we first talked about it? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's get her on fluids and broad-spectrum antibiotics. Um, my guess is she's going to be here for two days, but we'll see what, if she rebounds well tomorrow. Oh, poor Abby. All right, we'll look at Abby first thing after rounds. Um, Satch. Dad has to leave by 12.30 because he has to have an MRI himself. Oh, no. Don't tell me why. Okay. Um, and I didn't probe. But um, Satch has lost some weight, but he's overall doing really well. Doctor. Any doses of radiation? Four. Yeah, oh, it's all Tuesday done? Was the fourth one. Okay, yeah. great. Tuesday was the last. I mean, I guess the only other thing is maybe I would give him Elspar if he really has relapsed. But let's just see how he looks. Just tell them that I might give Elspar. Okay. Depending on how he looks. So just get a good history. Find so we can end the day on a high note. Um, that's all I got there. That's it. Go away! No, wait. Close the <laughs> All right. Abby. I don't know if you guys saw the other video, but Abby has very tough lymphoma. And so we had to give her new chemotherapy, which her lymph nodes are responding to. And she had radiation on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. And because um, her lymphoma relapsed into her nose, which is totally crazy. I've had three cases, three in all my years. So we gave Abby a new, very strong chemotherapy protocol to see if I could get her back in remission, which is working, but it made her white blood cell count very low. Abby, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Do, 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 do. So people can see your cute end. Look how cute you are. Um, but I also plummeted her white blood cell count. And only less than 5% of patients getting chemo will um, will get hospitalized to chemotherapy side effects. And you have broken that rule many, many times, girl. You are just an you're a lemon. You need to stay a couple days in the hospital. She has a fever, so we're going to get her on some fluids, some broad spectrum, so antibiotics to cover all sorts of potential infections. And hopefully in a day or two, you can go back home, okay? We're all wearing gloves because we don't want to give her any um, other infections because she's immunocompromised. So we will take extra precautions with you. Ready? Let's get your fluid started. Dad, come here. No, let's get your fluid started. Oh, 
Let me see that page. No. The cages are over there, lady. Oh, look at you. You look so good, and you're letting me touch your face. And he was like rubbing his face on the couch. You're so beautiful. I'm so sorry. I'm so proud. What are we going to give you today? I don't know. You can tell he feels better. What are you doing, handsome boy? Okay, we're gonna do your exam. Oh, I need to see your gorgeous head. There you are. You're so beautiful. It's too big to fit in the brain. Mm. So Max has digit melanoma, and they didn't get enough off the first time, so we just had a scar revision. That's why we're going to take off your bandage and see how your foot looks. And he's getting his third of his fourth melanoma vaccine, and then you'll get one every six months forever, and hopefully forever will be super, super long. Okay, ready for your exam? It looks great. That's what we want to see. Okay, perfect. You're perfect. Ready for your vaccine? Good boy. I have to bandage that up first. handsome boy has cutaneous uh, lymphoma which is in his lip we're gonna show it because we need to measure it your lymph node is big again today too yeah what's your miss appointment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh such a good boy <laughs> you're vicious I love you. Such a waggy boy. All right, do the good side. Everything looks good there. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. That little sweetie. That looks better over there. Oh, I know you're so good. Can I measure your mouth? Boy. May I, please? You can have cookies when you're done. We're going to do an aspirate on his lymph node, so we keep everything pretty much set up. You need microscope slides, you need needles, and a syringe or two. It's pretty easy. Do this procedure when they're awake. And Gilbert, come here. Come here. Can I ask for your big lift now? Okay. Ready? Good boy. Oh, you're so brave. Oh, you're so brave. Thank you. Let me take all that good stuff and make a slide. And then what do we do? give you treats if you would eat them. lymphoma has progressed to his lymph node which it hasn't been so Gilbert had a treatment delay so we're gonna get him back on track hopefully get him back in remission 
That's the plan. Wow. I don't believe it. Kate, Carly. Kate, Carly. Those never go together. I don't know how that happened. This is Chelsea. What did we say? You were almost on your one year anniversary, right? So she had a smooth, an aggressive, smooth muscle tumor in her spleen. <laughs> She doesn't care. Um, and she went through chemo, a lot of chemo. She never really lost her hair either. Mm -mm. No, some of our other little white dogs have been losing their hair, but not you. And today we're gonna do chest x-rays and ultrasound, and you better not have any more tumors. No spread. Mom says she's doing great. Very similar to Frank. She looks good. You look fabulous. You look glorious. So we're looking at Chelsea's x-rays. We do three views, one of her laying on each side and then her laying on her back. If you're not used to looking at x-rays, um, bone is white. So here's like her front legs here, if you can see my little arrow. Um, air is black, so most of her lungs are black. And then everything else is a shade of gray. So this and her chest cavity is her big heart, her beautiful heart. Not big as in bad, but just her heart. Um, and then we're looking for any abnormal nodules in her chest and this is her left view so again Chelsea's a dog with the smooth muscle tumor for spleen that looks great and then oops laying on her back also great as well so again her heart's in the middle this is all of her lungs I do not see any nodules that don't belong and then hopefully her ultrasound will be good as well or no no, the, her, her primary vet did her surgery. Okay. And she had an omental met that was taken out with a spleen. Okay. She went through lots of chemo. Her chest looks good, so you're not allowed to find metastasis. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The pressure, it's a little bit much. Well, you know, I think you're up for Which the challenge. Which reminds me of a great Queen David Bowie song about pressure. But, yeah. Didn't Manili Vanilli sing that? I know that version too. Sing it to me. Susan says no. <laughs> Maybe if you fast forward the singing so it's like chipmunk Thank voice, you. they won't cut it off. You want the other light off? No. No. I, I'm afraid Dr. of the dark. Please dial extension 102. Dr. Extra, please dial extension So I need to keep a light on so I don't get scared. I can't. Hey. <gasps> Her spleen is gone. Um, just tell them to send the report. They don't need to call. Come on. It's, it's cause Suzanne probably messed up. No, I didn't. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I just didn't. <laughs> I didn't click the button. You clicked the button. No, I didn't. No clicky. Thank you. Bye. Didn't click the button, Chelsea. Can't find that. Do either. I have to do everything for you? I can't find her kidney. I don't know. We'll look for it again later. Found her. Found a kidney. Yay! You had one. Whew. Cause it gets a little awkward. when I thought I was gonna stop video recording. <laughs> so I don't know if the improvement in her breathing is from the chemo or from the radiation or a combination thereof, but I'll be honest, I don't care. You know, I just want her to start feeling better um, and, you know, stay in remission. But like I said, her lymph nodes are improving. My guess is she'll need two days in the hospital that she won't go home till Saturday, but I do have some dogs that, you know, the next day their white blood cell count rebounds um, and they can go home, but we'll just have to see. Well, that sucked, <laughs> to be honest. So I get a text from one of my girlfriends, will I see you tonight? My reply is, what's tonight? Turns out that there is orientation for my oldest son who's going into middle school and I'm an hour away from work and, or from home and it's now an hour before it starts and my husband who's closer at work has to pick up the kids from soccer so long story short uh, we're gonna have to take the kids i'm gonna be late and it's just one of those moments where you realize balancing everything is super crazy hard some days and i'm just not good at it or at least that's how i feel right now feeling like the worst parent in the world <sighs> 
So overall, not a bad day. Um, I feel like we got some good reports, good results, and if I could only get home, that would be super fantastic, but I can't get home faster than I can. Um, so I'm just going to have to sit tight, relax in the car, and hopefully get there without missing too much important information for my son. Love you. Love you Did you have as a busy day as mom? Mm. You know, kind of busy. Yeah. Save any lives? Yeah. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love Ready to go to bed? Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Yeah, I love you. Time to say goodnight, everybody. Oh, are you tired, Mom? You look tired. Good night, Matilda. We love you guys. Nope, she's going down. <laughs> All right, say good night, you two. Bye bye. Good night, guys. <laughs>